last year. That was the very first time that I started. Nails are done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get our orders. done because what what i ain't got no business being out here looking like this y'all remember i said i missed my nail appointment because my car wouldn't start that day that was like two weeks ago right before the beyonce concert why are these the same nails girl hey girl we about to go get it taken care of right now Goodwill right now because I'm shopping for fifth and Juniper home. I just feel like I don't have enough stuff. I want to make sure that I have like a decent collection or a decent size collection to be able to offer you guys. And so I've just been trying to do a little bit of shopping way more often so that when I do bring everything out, I'll just have, you know, like a decent size amount. So I'm just going to go in here. I only have about 30 minutes to shop right now. So, cause they're about to close, but we're just going to go in here and see what we can find. Y'all, I'm so excited. We actually found some stuff. Oops, sneak peek. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be a whole lot of stuff because it's late in the day and usually everything is kind of picked over, but score. It's the next day and I'm just in my office. Excuse my appearance, I've just been, yeah. Anyway, I'm in my office and I've been trying to figure out exactly i've just been brainstorming pretty much for the most part i've been brainstorming fifth and juniper home i'm trying to so i made a post the other day on instagram and if you guys don't follow me fifth and juniper if you don't follow me why not but i made a post and i was just pretty much it was like a transparency post and i was like listen i'm just gonna be honest because um, when I first did, I started selling some homes. So y'all know I've been reselling for a while. Like I've been reselling for some years, but mainly has been like clothes and shoes and stuff. And so I introduced home stuff last year. That was the very first time that I started. To, well, aside from like Facebook marketplace and selling things of my own, like my own items that I've used for a couple of years. And then I decided to put it on Facebook marketplace and then I just sold them there. Aside from stuff like that. Last year was the first time that I like actually went to the stores to pick things out to resell online. And as I mentioned on Instagram, I think I've also mentioned in one of my videos before too, is that the home stuff just didn't do well. Price points weren't right. Things broke in the mail. Um, the shipping weight of the items I would weigh it here and then I would go to the post office or when I would go to like try to have it picked up or whatever, like the weight was off. So a lot of times when they scan it in, they'll end up charging me like USPS will end up charging me because the weight of the item wasn't correct and I didn't charge the correct shipping weight to the customer because the customer of course pays for shipping, but I didn't, I didn't, it, it was just wrong. <laughs> Everything was just all wrong, mainly those breakable items too. Cause like I thought I was packaging it really well, but then like when they would, when of course I didn't ship them broke, but when I, um, or when the customer went to go open it up, um, it broke in the mail as it was being transferred there. Anyway, so I've just been sitting here brainstorming. I've actually been working on Fifth and Juniper Home for a while. This room is a mess, y'all. Uh, but it's the real deal y'all can't even see y'all only see right here but y'all can't even see what's going on over here because over here it's a mess and this door has been closed and it's been closed for a reason because it is just a hot mess in here but anyway so 
Yeah, I've been working on it for a while and just trying to figure out like dates and when I want to put stuff out, price points for different things. I actually had a checklist. I'll read you guys my checklist. I'll read you guys my checklist because I honestly feel, I feel like I said that a lot. I honestly feel, <laughs> I honestly feel that my laptop is dead. Is it dead? No, it's not. I got 55%. Okay. I honestly feel that, um, I am really self-made. There's a lot of things that I do. Oh, there's a lot of things that I do and it's just me. It's just me behind the scenes. Of like, I work really, really hard behind the scenes of a lot of things, like of a lot of things. And I try to present them and it looks like, oh, I literally did that in two seconds when really it's not like that at all. So like at night when everybody is asleep, I'm working on the website, I'm working, I'm trying, I'm brainstorming, like I've been like these last couple of nights, I've been really like jotting things down and trying to brainstorm and all that other stuff and just really trying to make things work and make it work to where it would be something that you guys would enjoy, it would be something that I enjoy. I love home accent stuff in general, but I just want to do things differently than I did last year. And I was also um, in that transparency post from uh, Instagram, I was saying that I feel like anybody who is passionate about something, if you're really, really passionate about something, even if you suck at it, I feel like you should continue to do it. Keep doing it until you don't suck anymore. <laughs> like, honestly, that's how I feel. Like, I got discouraged because I could sell clothes and shoes all day long, and when somebody returns something or somebody doesn't like something, I'm just like, whatever, you know, it'll sell again and faster than it did before. Like, I don't really care when it came to shoes and clothes, but when my home stuff didn't do well because of all the various reasons as to why it didn't do well, it hurt me. Like, I was like, oh, <laughs> I felt like I, it, like it was so personal. Like, I took it so personal. I took it so personal because I was like, dang, like, this is some, it was my passion. I'm like, this is something that I really want to do in life. <laughs> and it didn't do well so it's something like that when you're that passionate about something you really can't get discouraged if it doesn't go well and that's what i did i got discouraged and it was really hard for me but i also didn't let it i knew that i was going to take a break on home stuff but i knew that it wasn't going to be forever because i really want to do it like it's just something that i really really want to do and i'm like determined to make it successful so that's just kind of like where i am in life and so the last year I've decided, um, you know, clothes and all that was fading out. Always, uh, that's the other thing. I knew that clothes wasn't gonna last me because that's not my passion. So I decided to stop selling clothes. Like I haven't been buying any clothes or anything like that. Um, and I decided to stop selling clothes altogether about a month or so ago. And I'm gonna just be focusing on things that are um, my passion. And I also put that on uh, YouTube. I, I believe I made a video. Yeah, I made a video about that as well. So. Anyway, I say all that to say, just like me, you guys, like just look, an encouraging moment real quick. If you're passionate about something, keep working at it until you're actually really, really good at it. Like that's how I feel. So I've been in the kitchen. I've been in the kitchen trying to figure out things, trying to figure out the shipping stuff, trying to figure out pricing stuff, trying to figure out just all kind of stuff. So I'll read you guys my little to-do list on the things that I have to do because I also find it, I like videos. Um, and I like people who are entrepreneurs that when I can see their, almost like their come up really, when they post things about the backgrounds and behind the scenes of them building, and this is like the final thing. I love videos like that. I don't know if y'all like videos like that or not, but I just find that it's really important for me to show people my, my progress, really. Really to show people my progress because you see that I started from here. I started from here. This thing did really, really well, regardless of what it was. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be YouTube. It could be anything. This thing did really well. But then when I tried to do this thing over here, it didn't do well at all. Or, or, or vice versa. This I started this and it did really bad. Like it sucked. And this is the reason why A, B, C, and D. It sucked and it did not do well. But now I'm trying again. And these are the things that I'm going to do to try to implement to make it better. So like, I don't know. But just so you guys are aware because you guys are going to be on this journey with me as I do launch Fifth and Juniper Home again because I technically already did. It failed <laughs> so we're going to do it again. Um, yeah so you guys will be with me as I do it so and you'll be able to see the background and before and after and all that. Anyway so to-do list the things that I've been working on 
brainstorming about um one number one is photographing all of my items all of my home items so i do take all of my pictures myself i do take all the videos and everything myself um anything that i've ever sold online if it's not like a, a person modeling the picture or something like a stock photo i do take pictures myself so i have to work on photographing all of the items um and i have some stuff but I don't have, I feel like I don't have enough. Like I was telling you guys in that other clip, I don't, I feel like I don't have enough and I just wanna be able to make sure that I have a good enough variety so that when I do put it out, it's like, oh, okay, you know, you have some, some cute things on here. So anyway, photograph all the items, work on pricing. <laughs> pricing was always like a big deal. I do wanna make sure the one main thing that I wanna make sure that the store has is that it's, um, it's affordable. I definitely wanna make sure that my store is affordable um, because at the end of the day, I know for myself, I don't want, I wanna find deals. Like when I go out and about, I wanna be able to find really cute accent things for my home at really great deals. I, it's like, how how do I preach that about, you know, things that are affordable on, on a budget and all of that? And that is really my life. I'm really out here trying to find things that are affordable because I'm on a budget. <laughs> and then not have my store reflect that. So pricing is a big, huge thing for me and I wanna make sure that everything is affordable. Um, number three is marketing emails that I've been working on. So marketing, when you guys go to fifthandjuniper.com, um, you go straight, straight to the bottom of the website and there is a section on there where you can drop your emails. Make sure you guys do that. Drop your emails because one, you'll be notified of when the site is live, when the store is live, the site is already live, but when the store is live and I start selling all of my home stuff, you guys will be notified for that. Um, and then also marketing emails as far as promotions, sales, things that I'm doing, new items, new arrivals and stuff like that. So I'm working on the marketing emails. Um, photo shoot ideas for 5 and J Home. So photo shoot really is, again, marketing stuff that I wanna do, just different ideas and things that I had for myself that I wanna do. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, so photo shoot ideas. Uh, packaging, boxes, inserts. I do wanna make sure that I have custom packaging. I've always been really, really big on having custom packaging for some reason. I'm just, <laughs> it's not important and it's definitely not something that you have to have, especially if you're starting out with a business, you have a small business or whatever. It, use what's free, use what's offered to you for free, USPS gives you free boxes. I still use USPS boxes and I'm gonna to continue to use USP, where can I talk? I'm going to continue to use USPS boxes, even in the future. However, it's also it's always been something that's really important to me to have custom packaging, custom boxes, um, inserts, you know, little cute cards and stuff for the packages when you guys place an order. So working on designing those, I think I'm probably gonna still go with the same boxes that I had before um or either something similar if i can find it i will insert it in this video so you guys can see what i'm talking about but i definitely think it's important for me not for everybody but for me to have some type of custom packaging and some type of custom insert like little insert cards and stuff for the home stuff because it just customizes everything and i like for everything to flow and look good um the other point is uh work on the website i put this on here. I'm always working on a website. I'm always in the background doing something. I'm always changing something. I'm always tweaking something. Even if it doesn't look like anything different to you guys when you log on to the website, which more and more of you guys have been checking out the website. I can see you guys. Thank you so much for your support and all of that. Yay. But anyway, so working on the website, that's going to always be at the top of the list because it just always needs work. So in my mind, the back end and the stuff that you guys actually see. But a lot of times I'm just working on the back end stuff. Um... Set a release date. Huh? That's really important. <laughs> Set a release date. I don't really feel comfortable with setting a release date until I have a lot of the other things that I'm working on figured out. So I'm just like, I have a time frame of when I want to do it, which is, it won't be long. It's just a time frame of when I want to do it, but I don't have an actual date as of yet. But that's on my to do list to do. So, yeah. Um, YouTube videos. So YouTube videos actually made it on here. YouTube videos leading up 
is what I put on here. So when I say YouTube videos leading up, that goes back to I really like when you guys are able to see like the behind the scenes, maybe me getting the products together, maybe me shipping some orders. I still have a few things for um, like Poshmark that I'm putting up as far as clothes and shoes. I still got just the stuff that's left. I'm not buying anything new, but just the stuff that I have left over. So stuff like videos and stuff like that, just what can I do leading up to the website? Uh, I'm sorry, leading up to the store. Um, so yeah, so that's the thing. Um, promo video for 5 and J Home. So also brainstorming and thinking about that, like some type of promo video. I don't know if I wanna do it like all professional or whatever, or if I wanna put it in like a, a vlog style, like how I do all my regular videos. I'm not sure, but just also um, promo videos, some type of promo videos. Um, and then the last thing was curated bundle boxes. So this was something that I kind of always wanted to do. I never did this when I was selling home stuff last year, but I just think that is a really great, 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 great idea. Let me know, let me know what you guys think about this idea too, because you will have, so when you go onto the site and you go into the store, of course you're gonna have things there for purchase. But then I was also thinking of like, I think it would be really cool and really cute to do bundle boxes, to have several different items into one, box to be able to sell and I would probably maybe do it as a collection I don't really know again this is brainstorming but I was thinking maybe doing it as a collection or maybe like around the holiday time or maybe if it's like a, a seasonal type thing but just pretty much having several different items in one bundle and selling it that way so or it could be like bathroom stuff you know if you're or, or kitchen stuff or, I don't know I don't know but let me know what you guys think do you guys when you purchase especially your home accents and your home decor, are you purchasing or do you like to purchase like things individually or do you like to make it easy? And you're like, oh, if you go to a store and you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I want this, this and that because it's all together as a set, but you know, in the stores they sell it separately. But like, do you wish that things kind of came together as a set to make it easier? I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts when it comes to that because I just thought that it was a really cute idea and I really want to incorporate that in the store some kind of way. But I also don't wanna do it if nobody's really interested in that and if, if you're usually just buying just like one or two items or whatever, I don't know. It was a couple of things, it was something else that I was literally just thinking about a second ago. I was like, I need to put that on my to-do list. But I don't know what it was. Oh, the other thing is, oh, that's what I needed to write down. Organize my studio organizing studio so i think what i'm going to do guys so i have these boxes y'all have seen these boxes plenty of times before it's an ambulance city living right so i've had these boxes um in my videos plenty of times before you guys have seen these boxes but it's mainly clothes and shoes that are stored in these boxes and i definitely have these long boxes so that when i had the clothes and they were in separate individual bags. I would just put them in there and then I can get probably like 30 pieces of clothing in these boxes when they're in the little bags and they're stacked behind each other. So that's the reason for the boxes. That's just how I do my inventory. But I think what I wanna do is break down some of these boxes or maybe even all of them, I don't know. And then start just adding all of my home decor onto the shelves. I think that's what I want to do because originally I was thinking about just putting the home decor in the in the boxes, but I know I know it's gonna be hard to like go through and hard to see what I actually have and all of that. So yeah, that was one thing that I wanted to work on this weekend is really just organizing this room, stacking together the rest of the clothes and shoes that I have, which again is not very much, and like maybe just putting that all in a, a few boxes and then maybe clearing out the rest of the space for the home stuff. I don't know but I just know that this room needs to be organized and it needs to be cleaned up it's a mess you guys saw these so these are again like this was in one of my other videos my couple videos ago I had these so these will be on here but stuff like this I'm like I don't want to just stuff these in the in the boxes like I'm never going to be able to see them the accent stuff that I buy for the store um pretty much goes with like my apartment too <laughs> like a lot of it is because um, it's inspired by me and my and my home and all of that so a lot of it is already the decor it already matches my decor is earth tones black whites greens browns tan stuff like that earthy earthy vibes so i think if i put them on these shelves it's not going to be bad like if i just start stacking everything so i don't know i don't know 
anyway so that's what we're gonna be working on this weekend a little bit later i'm gonna be going over my family's house we're gonna have some fried fish some fried shrimp i am y'all i'm eating okay T today alone i've been eating today and yesterday really i've been eating um really stuff that I ain't supposed to be eating <laughs> but i said today is friday so i said we're gonna start fresh tomorrow saturday and i mean it we're gonna start fresh tomorrow i feel like ever since i left my mom's house i've been kind of like just not doing the best when it comes to eating um this week it's just been i don't know it's just been a rough week so we're gonna we're gonna top it off with a bang tonight i'm gonna have me some fried shrimp i'm gonna have some uh, i think she's doing shrimp fries maybe hush puppies and something else and i'm sure we'll have some type of drink over there so i will record a little bit of that as well other than that that's about it and then i'll be working on this pretty much all weekend um just so i can organize it and just start getting this stuff ready for you guys ready for me just ready i'm just excited i'm so 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 excited because again it's like my passion y'all oh home decor home accent is really like my passion i just wanted to do well and i did don't get me wrong i had a lot of support the last time i had a lot of support and that support came with poor planning for me because i just didn't plan things correctly i didn't do things correctly i kind of took the approach of oh it's going to be just like selling clothes and shoes and all that and i was so wrong <laughs> I, th I think that's the main the, because of how I was looking at it I think that's the reason why it failed in my eyes because I went about it as if I was selling clothes and shoes which that's what I'm used to selling and I'm used to that going well and I'm used to just putting very almost very little effort into it because clothes really almost sell themselves and so does some home decor too but I think it was just poor planning on my part and I was I took the approach that I took was as if I was selling clothes and shoes and it was very different so and I was I was sad about it because you know I just I put you know I, I just love I love home stuff and I was just sad it didn't do well so I'm really hoping that this time around it's gonna do great I'm excited to share with you guys everything that's going on behind the scenes as I'm gearing up to it all that good stuff got the fries popping you want to be on YouTube no oh <laughs> why are you mad do I I've been trying I've been on a Mediterranean diet however this is not Mediterranean but I don't At care all. I don't care it's a cheat day so we got this stuff here from Publix with some OJ never put this with orange juice before but we're gonna try it shabby now it tastes like um <laughs> why are you gonna put it with orange if you never had it with orange i don't know juice? i just want to try it now it tastes like a uh, grapefruit <laughs> what i was gonna make it you want to put some orange juice in it okay, i need a straw oh I yep cherries so let me tell y'all what we have and we're gonna have onion rings boom we're gonna have the scrumps she don't see the straws we gotta have a straw no. had a fries boom then we got crabs where the crabs Every time I come over here to get put to work. Y'all, look at her living room. It's so pretty. She wanted to change it to coastal theme. Ah, so nice. So she got these from Haverty's. Yep, and then she has all those little knickknacks. Y'all love a knickknack. <laughs> you want to cook all these? No. Y'all don't want to design? Yeah, um, I just wanted to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I didn't end it yesterday, so I am about to start a uh, detox between today and tomorrow. I told you guys, 
like the last two days have just been like look as far as eating so mm -mm. and i had a lot of fried foods yesterday um i had some drinks as y'all saw so yeah we're going to get i've already started with my water for the morning so yeah and then um i think i'm just going to keep it really really light today and i think i'm going to drink this detox tea yeah between today and tomorrow so i could just have a really nice lightweight weekend as far as eating and the way that i feel and then i'm going to walk later on when i get off of work but other than that that's it oh and working on the fifth and juniper that's really what i'm going to be doing like all weekend long i plan on just kind of tending to my health a little bit my exercising my working out my eating and then working on fifth and juniper so that's what i'm going to be doing but i just wanted to end the vlog here <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one bye